man, we're getting close though. Oh shit, he can't back up. He's stuck. What's up guys? Welcome back or to the channel and we're out here again and if you guys have been watching the channel you'll recognize that we're at Pat's place and Pat has a pretty nice playground out here. So if you haven't seen it before this is the front yard and if you have seen it before well then you already know what's in store but we've got a couple familiar faces with us and I don't know why my camera's jiggling around. Okay we'll figure this out but got a couple familiar faces with us got a couple of new faces with us but the important thing is the Jeep made it out, we're out here, so let's go head into the trail, let's have a good time, and let's send it. I think I figured out the, the noise that it was making, it was a little loose there, but figured it out guys, so that shouldn't be an issue anymore. Jeep starts up again, so I think we figured out that issue. <laughs> All then, I'm thinking is, you know those little plastic clappy hands that... <laughs> I'm going to tape that to the back of his bumper one day, and he's going to be like, what the that noise ah thank you Todd the 4x4 shifter still works and let's go ahead in there because we did come a little bit late all the guys are already in on the trail and it sounds like somebody got stuck and it was actually crazy windy today I got a shot earlier of us driving here and it was nuts like the doors were just fluttering I'll show you guys now you can see how crazy windy it is today Vibrating. Does yours do that? Yeah. So yeah, she's a windy one today. Yeah, so you can see it was pretty crazy, but we're out of the wind now. Now that we're in the forest, or now that we're in the forest, it's gonna be a lot better. We shouldn't have much wind, but it is quite nasty today. The owner said, Pat, he said that the guys are stuck in there, so we're gonna just play around on the front yard for a minute. So let's Remember play around on the front yard for a minute. Remember you have a nose. Get this one from the outside, or do you? Want, or you can't get out. Right? I can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I look like I'm about to get shipped out to space. <laughs> I'll turn the camera this way because you guys won't see anything the other way anyway. But I'm, you said we have a problem. <laughs> oh man, we're getting close though. So close, it feels like it wants it. See here, you're caught up in here. Yeah. If you can just come over a little bit and get, yeah, get your ass end over.
much. <laughs> oh, that was sick. Well, guys, I told you it's gonna be a scent fest today. That was just the warm up. Yes. Yeah, your bumper's not touching. It's too slick. Yeah, it's just a mud puddle out here today, guys. You need a running start. <laughs> yeah, she's slick today. Look at that. Like, we were definitely digging. But that's all right. We got to put this new bumper to the test. Also, the front bumper, I guess, needs to be put to the test. Because, <laughs> yeah, I actually took that beating really well. And then we've got Big Bird's bigger, younger brother over here. And this thing's on 40s. Yeah. So I guess that's what we're missing is 40s. No problem, we'll get some for next week. So the guys all made it out of that trail and we're gonna go start a new one together. But everybody's here. So you can see, we've got the big old JK on 40s. We've got Tyler and his Pathfinder. We've got another JK, another blue TJ over there. We've got a brand new Rubicon. And we also have I think Pat's TJ somewhere and we have one more JL over there. So it should be a good day. Oh, and a buggy. So definitely good mix of vehicles. Let's get in there. Let's see what this thing can do. Going up this way? Tyler's already stuck in the pathfinder and a nice mud hole over there. So I'm gonna slide down the slope and get something for us. That's what you got stuck in. Pretty nasty. <laughs> Try it again. 
behind me. <laughs> it is a royal mess out here. Like, look at this. Oh, man. Yeah, it is a mess out here, but that makes it that much more fun. I was surprised I made it through that last mud hole. But before I say too much, <laughs> let's just keep going because I don't want to get stuck. The last thing I need today is to get out and get knee deep in the mud. Oh shit, he can't back up. He's stuck. Right 
So yeah, it's tight out here. If you guys haven't noticed, uh, this is also past Jeep. It's got the tail light delete, the mirror delete. <laughs> And we got another guy trying to climb. Oh man, you're hugging that tree. You're on the tire, you can't back up. Oh, there you go, you got around it. You're good. Sounds like you're losing air. Yeah. Go a little bit driver. Bit of wood in there. A chunk of wood stuck in your tire. Oh, it's slowed down now. Ooh, slidey. I don't think you can back up much. Whoa. You're just gonna have to pin it from there, man. Keep going. Check your tire, you gotta take a chunk of wood out of your feet. <clears throat> Sometimes the only way around is through it. So <laughs> he got through it. Watch this side. You're good. Perfect. We got the wood out of his tire. Now we just got to pump it up. Milwaukee pump to the rescue. You know, I'd say I'm surprised, but he bought a yellow Jeep. So what does he expect, right? Like this is the life. guys this thing actually does 40s slow but it does them I do have a regular pump in the back that hooks up to my battery but I honestly just love using this thing because it's convenient and I'm already bringing the battery for the old chainsaw here this is also a electric chainsaw but after doing a 40 for about 10 minutes we're still full on the 8 amp hour so that's not too bad 
not too bad at all. Usually when I do all four of mine, are uh, 33s from about 8 PSI to 25 PSI, it takes about one or two bars off the battery. So not bad at all. And now comes one of the more interesting parts in the regular, just like normal trail. And it's the logs. This part is so saturated that they had to put logs to let us through. Yeah, fun, but a lot of bumpy. <laughs> and I think we've got another set. Yep, there's another set of logs just over here. And then a nice set of climbs. One of my favorite obstacles on the actual grounds here. All right, and for this one, I'm gonna have to close the window because people get stuck here. Climbs up here. Roll down your window. To come around. Yeah, so we come around up there, right? That's where I'm going. You just cracked your light. Just a little bit. Windows up, back through the mud and the logs. Ah, he found a better way. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. All right, let's send it through here then. the floor but it was fun <laughs> oh man they made a mess of the logs jeez well that's gonna make it interesting for us
Big Bird's a beast. I think we built this thing right this time. <laughs> yes. So this is definitely one of my top three favorite spots to come. The trails are awesome. The people are always great. Pat is a super nice guy because he lets us come out here. He helps you out if you break down. Like there's just good vibes all around. So coming out here is always fun. And to be honest, my favorite part is the trails. Like they have some amazing trails. Like, like if I held the camera straight right now, like the Jeep's on like a 45, like even, yeah, when, <laughs> even when you're not on an obstacle, you're still on an obstacle. Like everything out here is a challenge. I love how technical it is, and there's a send around every corner.
lot of people say I gotta get a locker and I gotta upgrade the axles and I don't disagree with you guys at all. I do. I 100% say that that would be great, but I have a lot of fun in this thing the way it is. Like if I had lockers front and back, it would walk everything. And I enjoy having a little bit of send here and there, but you guys see how easy of a time it's been going today. And I honestly, I don't know if it's because I had to swap out that front tire. My front tire is brand new, like spanking new, because I took it off the back, which I've never used, because I had a puncture in one of my tires. So what I did was I swapped all the tires and I put that one that was brand new in the front. Hold on, I gotta move for Tyler. All right, but, oh, Yo, can you okay, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna get this. Oh, ah, okay, well, he was bouncing around, but we missed it. So either way, regardless, my front tire is brand, brand new, which I think is really helping me out. Uh, like you guys will see on this muddy section right here. So we're gonna send it through there. Let's go. First gear. Like I'm telling you guys, this thing, she is a beast. She's quite impressive. Like this thing is a beast right now and I don't know if it's because we fixed all the body mounts or I have a limited slip in the rear or that brand new tire or all of it working together but I'm telling you I have a lot of fun with how it is and I'm not itching to upgrade the lockers or anything at the moment because it's a lot of fun as it is. Look this Jeep was a forced relationship I think she's finally accepting all the love Mike is putting into her. <laughs> Like, I'm proud. I'm impressed.
This is why it's Pat's trail. Oh no! <laughs> Hold on, let me figure out how to trek up there. One of the bolts came out of the top. I probably have an extra one that might fit in the. In the I have a bucket of bolts in there. We'll see. I'll have bolts. Zip tie. We'll figure it out. Zip tie. Louder. This thing is still dry. We apparently broke the trunk. So let's see. Oh no! Yeah, so the plastic was holding it on. I came up here and I'm looking at it and it's like this. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? Oh. So I ripped it open. Oh. The plastic held it in. And now Ooh. I lost one of these bolts. I don't know where this bolt would no, be. I'm not looking for that. This one is finger tight. But if you remember, we got a bucket of bolts in there. So I'm not too worried. I think we'll be able to figure it out. Yeah. You always break something, <laughs> but if that's the only thing that we broke today, then I'm all right with that. 
Hey, don't say, don't say that yet. I broke something. That counts, right? I think that's it. So she doesn't close because that top bolt is open. But we're gonna head back to Pat's now. Good thing we're on our way out. You can see everybody's making their way out. So let's head back to the garage and let's see if we can fix that. But we didn't put all that work in for nothing, guys. And I told you we were gonna send it. I hope I didn't disappoint. We got switches coming out of the dash, like mud on the inside. Yeah. Did you really wheel if you don't have mud on the inside of your dash and your windshield? Bro, it's this log. Pretty sure it's this log that's in your way. We're gonna maybe ask someone in front of us to winch it out. What do you wanna do? Yeah, you can winch through that too, yeah. <laughs> it's never over till it's over, right? Hey, he's almost out. I don't think it'll go anywhere. Saved by the Jeep, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Funny thing is, he has a Jeep. He just didn't bring it today. And not just any Jeep, a TJ. And the Cookie Monster TJ at that. Thank you, sir. So usually when we stop, Justine will go and uh, explore and hike. And then when we're done, I'll give her one of these. <laughs> and there she is. See, she's pissed because I'm, I'm honking multiple times because I already did that to call her. Oh, le. Now we're stuck on that rock. All right, hold on. Ooh, that sounded great. All right. There we go. I wasn't honking to, to call you all those times. I wanted to show them what I do to call you.
well guys, we made it out of the trail. And of course we had to praise the Jeep right before we got off and something broke. But it's just the tail hitch for the trunk. So I, uh, at least it's not an expensive uh, break. We can manage with that. Well, Tyler and the Pathfinder made it out. And yes, this is a Pathfinder, a full-size Pathfinder. And this thing is a beast. It impressed everybody, including Pat. He was saying how awesome this thing is. And seriously, like, it actually does really, really well out here. So like I keep saying, guys, you don't always need a Jeep. You don't need, you drive whatever you want. Like literally, if you want to take it out there, you can take it out there. So big props to Tyler for coming out today. And hopefully we'll see him again because the season is just starting. And I got the latch figured out. You can see she's sitting as it should. This little rubber, pretend that's not there, but it sits pretty much perfectly flush as it should. And she also closes just like she should. So now everything's lined up. Unfortunately, I did not have a bolt. So I had to use what I had, which was this ghetto stud with a nut on it. So yeah, I used it as a jam nut and it's in. But overall, if that's the only thing that we had to deal with today, I am super happy. Now, not to say there isn't a couple other things we need to address. Uh, one of them being So that leaks, I think that one leaks, I think the other front one leaks, like most of them leak. I think the only one that doesn't is the one that I took off for a spare. But the one that I took off for a spare, there's a large gouge in it. And big ass gouge like that in the sidewall is not good for anybody. And it is deep. I did test it with like a screwdriver and it's pretty deep. So I don't want to be replacing tires on the actual trail. So that's going to be the spare for now. But there is a couple other things we need to check on, like the rear pinion in the front. Or sorry, the rear pinion seal in the front was leaking on me on the way up. I won't know now because everything's covered in mud. But once we wash it and we bring it home and we check on it, we'll see what's happening there. And I think I might need a throwout bearing because this old girl, well, she's manual. So throwout bearing gets replaced every now and again because it gets covered in mud and it just starts wearing out on you real quick and i've done it once before but i think that was about three years ago so it's coming coming to its time broke that off too what part of the jeep is that uh, my jeep oh boots okay oh man i'm like honestly what what more parts of the jeep and now i think we're gonna air back up and call it a day we had some definitely awesome scents today it was an crazy day it was an awesome day and uh i can't wait to do it again like i said this is one of my favorite places to come pat's place is always interesting it's always a good time and yeah i just love coming out here because the trails are sweet so i just want to say a big thank you to pat for inviting us out and letting us enjoy this beautiful land that he has here with all these awesome trails cannot wait to do it again and every time I look at this thing, I keep thinking it's my Jeep. Not because it's big, because it's yellow. And every time I look at it, I'm like, hey, what, what, what? And it kind of makes me do like a second second glance. But uh, I think we're gonna have to keep her yellow. I don't know, we'll see. Yellow. Yeah, might be, might be the lead death, as somebody said. Yellow lead death. Please don't take and uh, I think we're gonna do yellow on the inside away. because it is yellow on the inside. Like you guys can see, she's, She's yellow under there, underneath her clothes. So we're gonna leave it yellow and we'll see. I still haven't decided. I still have to order the stuff this week. I'm on the fence, but I'm pretty much like 90% sure I'm gonna do the yellow again, just because it's already yellow in here. Like everything is already yellow. So it's just gonna be easier to keep it that way. I know the black will show less dirt, but I just wanna keep it the way it is. And like, yeah, it'll look good, I think. It's quite unfortunate that he was losing air on the trail because he had a piece of wood stuck in there because I've been experiencing that for years. Like I've had this piece of wood right here for a couple of years. I've had these pieces of wood as well as these pieces of wood. And there's probably more on the other side if we keep looking because <laughs> yeah, like I said, I've, uh, I've always had wood in these tires in these wheels. I guess these, this side is clean for now. But yeah, there's always been wood in here. And I guess I've just gotten lucky. But for whatever reason, mine don't leak. But we are airing up now, as you can hear. And if you guys are interested, we did air up one other person on the trail. And we still have... 
two bars on our battery. So that thing lasts quite a while. I did 140, I did another 33, and now we're doing R33s. And it should last pretty much the whole thing. We also used the chainsaw out there with the same battery, which I didn't get to show you guys because I was basically cutting trees and uh, just forgot to tape it. But yeah, honestly, the Jeep did great. If that one latch is the only thing we have to deal with today, I call that a win. And I cannot wait to keep getting out. The trails for us open up May 1st. So if you guys didn't know, the trails close from December 1st till May 1st here in Ontario in Canada where I live. And they're opening back up very soon. So we're going to be hitting up the good trails with all the rock crawling and the mud and all the good stuff. Right now we're just hitting up private trails and uh, off-road parks and things that we have in the area. But definitely I cannot wait to get back out on the public trails. So stay tuned guys because the season is just starting. And hopefully you guys will be there with us. But if you guys are new around here, please jump down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, give this video a share. And we still have a bit of merch left on the shop before we do the new merch drop. And if you guys are a Patreon subscriber, a paid member, then you will be getting a free care package of the new merch before it drops. So I'll be sending out randomly uh, picked packages of stickers, shirts, keychains, different things that I'm going to be coming out with. I think we're also going to have a couple of different items as well, other than just the stickers, keychains, and the regular stuff. I think I have something interesting for you guys, but I don't want to say anything yet. So just wait. It's going to come out on the merch shop soon. So jump down there, check out what we have on the shop right now, see if there's anything you guys want to pick up. Everybody that picks up a sticker gets twice the stickers right now in their order. Everybody that picks up a keychain gets free stickers in their order. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then guys, ride safe out there. Peace.